Hello, I'm Oi Lemonade, or you can call me Allie, and this is my tutorial on how I made my 3D resin fish. It's a lot of stages to make these fish, so I'm going to try and explain it as quickly and with as much clarity as possible. So you're going to want to take your resin mold and pre-pour some resin at the bottom and let that set up overnight or however many hours it takes for your resin to cure completely. So these two wells here have completely hardened cured resin. And then you're going to want to take your paint and get set up with that stuff and begin painting. These are also in different stages. Uh, you're going to have to do these in stages because like I said you'll need the bottom pour, then the second pour, and a third pour, maybe even a fourth or fifth pour depending on how much detail you want to put into your fish. I'm just going to take my number two round Reeves brush here and begin painting. So it, this is just the bottom part of the fish. It's not too much detail. It's just basically the tail part as well as the four fins. So gently and quickly apply that stuff because you want to have some three-dimensionality to it. So that's basically the bottom half of your fish. You can do a little more detail, but in the above layers too, you're going to be adding more and more detail to it as well. So that's your basic bottom part of your fish. Once you've done this, you're going to pour resin on top of that, let it set up overnight again, and then once it's completely cured, you'll be painting on it again. So this is to the third stage, I believe. So I'm going to paint that one next seeing as I already have my paint set up and I want to show you guys as much as possible without being like, hey, I've got to let this set up now. So, got more orange paint, a little darker than before. Let me just lighten up a smidgen. And just going to press down the paint on top. And if you make a mistake, you can just take your water and wipe away whatever area you want to. And it should be good to go again, but make sure you let that dry completely once more, the area that you wiped, before you paint, because otherwise you're going to have your paint like spread out and it won't be good. So just make sure you do that. Also before you pour, also before you pour your next resin, let this dry completely. So that would take mm, maybe an hour, 30 minutes. I just let it go for an hour or when I remember or when I'm pouring my next batch of resin, I'll do it. I'll pour resin on top of this. And speaking of pouring resin on this, you want to make sure that it's a very thin layer because otherwise, if it's thick, you're not going to have enough space to do all your layers and detailing that you want to do. So make sure those things, you do them. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not going to come out the way you want to, but this was a trial and error process for me, so it'll probably one for you as well. This one's the most advanced stage of my painting process, and in fact, you can actually turn your mold around and look at your piece from the bottom to see how it's turning out. Like that one's colored quite nicely. I'm going to add a bit more white because I think it would benefit from that. And this one's still unpainted, this one I still need to paint. But you can see there are the fins and then the body. So I do the fins. Sometimes I don't do that line down the middle here, but I think it does add a little more three-dimensionality than just having the plain bottom, or just the fins at the bottom. So I'm going to add some white and see, flip it over again to see the bottom, to see if the white went through and it did not. So I'm actually going to just wipe away with water that layer I've done. And you can see it's like very, very messy and you're like, oh my god, what have you done? But just take a paper towel and just wipe up the excess water. And now I'm just going to let that piece dry out and then paint over it again. So this one also needs more detailing and then it needs another pour, and then the last pour gets the eyes, as well as a little more detail. So this one I think was four or five, will be four or five pours. 
Let me just go over some more detailing. The tail gets a lot of layers because it's very flowy, beautiful tail. These are kind of like koi fish. That's the type of fish that I'm trying to emulate with these, this style of painting. You can also give it some more three-dimensionality by putting lighter shades on certain areas and darkening up other areas to give it a more lively looking paint job because shadows are cast if the fish are turned a certain way that dilio like so and that's basically it guys um I'm going to pour resin on top once I finish painting. It's a little easier when I'm not filming to do this. And I'll probably will be making another video showing you guys the finished product once they're all done. Maybe I'll show you another step. But I don't think that's necessary. But if it if you got if you guys think it is, let me know and I'd be happy to show you more. Until next time, thanks for watching.